All right, guys, we are back and we are going to be working on the Triton today. If you missed the last episode, we did actually knock out these wheels and we also did a set of headlights and we cut the headboard off our tray there. Now, I was talking about getting a new tray because this tray is 1900 wide and it really just does not suit this build. So what I've gone and done is I bought a new tray. So as you can see, this tray is just way too big for this ute and it just does not look very good at all. It's also maybe a little bit too high and just a little bit too long. We also have these really dusty tail lights on the back and the number plate holder looks a bit average as well. I actually was planning on cutting this tray down, probably about 50 mil on each side. So actually running the uh, angle grinder down the side here and shortening the tray up a lot. But as I said in the last episode, I was gonna go on the hunt for a secondhand tray on Marketplace. I think we all agreed in the comments in the last video that I can actually sell this tray to add to the budget to offset the cost of this new tray. So that brings us to this custom aluminum tray here that I paid $600 for off Facebook Marketplace. Now it was almost meant to be this thing popped up as soon as I finished the video of this and I actually drove it that day to pick it up. Now the reason I really like it, it has this custom tail light section that I really really like. It's very similar to how my Navara was actually. I actually already bought a set of those lights to customize this tray but when this thing popped up I figured this is going to save us a whole heap of time. Now it also come with these custom made aluminium mud guards which I was going to purchase for the old tray anyway. So for 600 bucks I think this was an absolute bloody bargain. It also has tray sides as well. So what we're going to do today is we're going to chuck that on. We're going to take this one off and we're going to probably adjust this one to be a little bit lower. We're going to obviously have to wire up the lights, do the mud guards. I think this tray is going to look a thousand times better on the back of the Triton. I don't know, ever since I own this Triton, I really just dislike the tray. It is very practical because it's a nice size, like 1900 by 1900. It's good for tip runs and all that. But it just looks bloody ugly. Now the Bogan Bus owner, Harry Upps, is here. He's going to give me a hand to lift this thing on and lift that one off because they are pretty heavy. How you going, Harry? Good time yourself. Oh yeah, not bad, mate. So Harry actually has to go pretty soon, so we are just gonna smash out getting this tray off and then getting that tray on. Then I can finish up the wiring and all that by myself. Do you think we should pull it into the shed, Harry? Nah, mate. We're rural Australians in the sun. Harry, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I bought this tray the other day from Repco. This is exactly what I bought it for, just to bring tools out and actually have somewhere to put tools on. I think this thing is absolutely mint. Finally, time to get this tray off. We're just gonna move it over to the side, make way for the new one. Yep. All right, Harry, have a look at it. The uh, chassis is a little bit on the dirty side. I'm hoping that we have enough in the budget to clean the chassis right up on this thing. As you can see there, absolutely mint mod. That one was free, that one. Bloody exhaust note through the roof. So now that that's done, we need to obviously start mocking up the mounts for the other tray. Now, most aluminum trays are quite modular and you can fit them to just about any uh, vehicle. So we are using this back mount here and the front mount up the front. So there's only gonna be two where that tray there had three. Actually looking a lot better already. I really like uh, cab chassis more than that tray. <laughs> It's gonna sit for now. God, it looks a thousand times better, this tray. It is a lot shorter this way too. As you can see under here, the mounts are just nowhere near lining up. I might honestly have to pull the angle off that tray and mount it on this tray. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything that's too difficult here. So I'm gonna see if we can sort this mounting situation out and then I'll get back to you guys. All right, guys, finally out of the sun, we bought the Triton into the shed here. Harry's actually just left me. I, I really only needed help lifting this on. Now I've got a plan in motion on how we're gonna mount this tray. I want it to be as low as possible. So I'm gonna have to cut some brackets down. What we have here is two mounts off the old tray. I just quickly unbolted them. Now this bracket here is what is indicating our height. So what I'm actually gonna do is take a angle grinder and I'm gonna cut this top lug off. I did quickly flick a tape over the chassis and this is actually the easiest way that I can see to do it. So what I'm gonna try and do is get this one here mounted closest to the cab. Then we can actually adjust from the back and get our height of the tray. If you guys are ever mounting a tray, don't be the guy that uses a level on the tray because because cars aren't level. How I do it is I actually just sight down here until my headboard is perfectly parallel this way. 
We've all seen those blokes driving down a highway where the tray is level and the cab is completely on the piss and we don't want that to happen with this. And guys, I must say, this tray is looking bloody mint. So the tray is finally mounted up and it looks bloody awesome, so it's time to mount these mud bags. We're actually making pretty good progress here. We have the tray mounted and also we have our new mud guards mounted. Now this tray is definitely a little bit skinnier, but our wheels do not poke at all, which is a little bit saddening. What I did is just use those brackets and I bolted through a hole. Then I actually had to drill a hole for this last bracket. I'm not gonna put a third one in. I think two will be fine. And this mud guard here, all I did is mark where our runs are and I've tech screwed up from the bottom. So that is not gonna go anywhere anytime soon. I really do like the look of folded up mud guards like this. I think it just looks so much better than those factory ones that come on these trays and you can see in there our gap is pretty well parallel meaning that the tray is sitting level this way so that is bloody beautiful i'm absolutely stoked with this tray so far there is one more thing left to do on it though and that is wire up the tail light so i'm going to quickly do that then once i'm done we can chuck the sides on and we can actually probably pull it out have a look how this thing actually looks out in the light but anyway time to get all these lights mounted we've got uh number plate lights here obviously we've got our main lights on the back and then i want to chuck the number plate on and then she will be ready to go All right, guys, we are finally done with this bloody tray. I finished wiring up the rear light. It did actually take a lot longer than I expected because every single wire wasn't the right color. So I had to go through and test every single wire and make sure that it was gonna be doing what I wanted it to do. They were also different on both sides, so I don't really understand what was going on there. I didn't wanna rewire the thing today, so I basically just botched it as much as I could. It's all soldered up and ready to go. You can see I've chucked my number plate on there. All the lights are working and it is looking bloody perfect. All right, tray sides are on. I don't think that looks very good at all. Tray sides are quite useful, so I'll probably end up leaving them on. The plan is to wrap to coat this tray in the bull bar, so this won't stay looking like this for very long. It'll actually just be black, which should look a lot better than how it looks now. Now, I would like to get some under tray toolboxes for it. I really wanna try and find just some cheap ones that'll fit under that gap there. So I'm gonna take a measurement and I'll be on the hunt for a set of those off marketplace. But for 600 bucks, this thing was a bloody steal. And I reckon that I'll be able to sell that tray there for about 600. Now I was actually planning on modifying the bull bar today and getting that ready for uh, next week's video. And I need to get a welder to do some aluminium welding on it. But I do have a pretty good idea with that. I just don't know if I wanna tackle that today. But I'm gonna quickly back this out because I wanna see it out in the light. And then I'll decide if I wanna attack that bloody bull bar. All right, we got the ute outside and it actually does not look bad at all. I think it just looks a little bit odd because it's like polished and then some bits are flat and it's really dirty and all that sort of stuff. But once that's wrapped and I might be able to do a headboard and find some toolboxes for the back, 
That thing is actually gonna look so freaking good. Have a bloody go at that, would ya? Definitely looks way better than that old tray that was on it. But like I said, definitely needs to be black and also maybe some under tray toolboxes there. You got your custom rear section, absolutely mint. Just looks a hell of a lot bloody tougher. I'm actually pumped that we got that for 600 bucks. That is an absolute bargain. And honestly, once it's wrapped, you won't even be able to tell that that was an old tray. It'll look bloody brand new. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments about this tray, especially for what we picked it up for. I think it looks absolutely awesome. Now, one really good thing about this tray is the uh, previous owner put these tie down points in it as well, because when you put stuff in a tray like wood or something like that, it's really good to have these because otherwise you've got to run the strap over and hook it onto under here. It kind of just pulls your sides in a little bit awkwardly and I don't really like doing it. So I'm really happy that it's got them. Now I'm very happy with this purchase, but it was $600. So we do need to put that on the board. And in the meantime, I am going to try and sell my aluminium tray. I'll probably list it for 600 and just try and get our money back on it. So over on the board, you can see we have already done these items. Now we need to write alloy tray, 600 for that. So we are over the $1,000 mark, which means we are halfway. But once again, once I sell that bloody tray, we'll be back on top of this budget. I'm really liking the Triton build, but I think there is one thing that is missing. Probably one of the most important mods you can do to any 4x4. All right, that is the most important mod you can do to your car, guys. Get a bloody Rome Life sticker on the window. Now, in all seriousness, this is our new uh, window banner here. They're also very good for snorkels. You can run them up top as well. They do look bloody fresh as. So if you want to grab one, head to romelife.com. The link is in the description and you can grab yourself a bloody mint sticker. I really appreciate all you guys that are grabbing merch off the website. It really helps me make these videos. All right, so now that those bloody stickers are done, we are ready to move on to the last thing for today. Now, as for the last mod for today what i want to do is customize this bull bar now i've done this before with our work ute and it did look really good but what i'm thinking about doing is cutting these hoops off all of them bang 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 gone and what we want to do is then cut this down and we want to move this hoop down and have it just kind of elongated out so it's kind of tilted forward a little bit it'll make this bull bar look like a really modern one now if i can't manage to make that look good the next plan of attack would be to actually just run the bull bar with no hoops and that's also a good option as well we'll probably put a light bar or something down below and it'll look really neat but i'll never know until i start cutting it up so i've got to get these big chunks of rubber off here and have a look at how this is actually mounted to the bull bar then get the grinder out and just start hacking into it and see what we can turn this bar into get the dog now that's actually better than i expected i thought it was going to be fully welded around so all i need to do is try and cut around this and obviously cut the other two hoops off and then i might cut it somewhere around here and we can actually then just place it on the bull bar and weld around it. I was hoping for something easy like this and this is definitely gonna come up a bloody treat. So today's video with the tray and now the bull bar has made this thing look seriously so much friggin' better. I honestly can't believe it's actually even looking this good. This Triton that we had, you know, we paid bugger all for it off Marketplace and we basically only spent a thousand bucks. The mod that I've just done is free and the thing looks friggin' insane. It's enough talking, let's have a bloody look. Holy crap, that bull bar just made it look so much friggin' better. It actually looks like it belongs at SEMA. What do you guys reckon, 2023 SEMA build, uh, 1995 Triton? Let's, let's try and make it happen, all right? But in all seriousness, I was gonna do the hoop, but I think what I'm gonna do now is just a slim light bar. We did manage to grind down all the welds nice and flat, and when the bull bar is wrapped, you won't even see that at all. I actually am low key digging that in chrome, but I do think it will look a little bit better black. So it's really modern to not have hoops. It's a really modern thing. You know, I don't think we would have been able to buy a better looking bar than this one for a 1995 Triton anyway. 
So I'm gonna back this thing out so we can just have one last look at it and then we're gonna end the video because that is all I have time for. But geez guys, a $2,000 budget build. I didn't know if we were gonna be able to do it, but we're friggin' nailing it. Honestly, so bloody excited to see how this thing looks at the end of this build. So let's get it out of the shed and have a look at it. Honestly, this has come so far in just two episodes and just over a thousand bucks we've only spent, which is not much in terms of four wheel driving. And we already have made this thing go from an absolute, this thing looked like crap, let's be real. Before, had a massive headboard, massive tray, aluminium bull bar that was nothing flash, skinny tires on it, just looked absolute crap. Honestly, the mods that we've done, you know, you can do these yourself at home in your driveway, you know, I've only used a grinder and hand tools and a drill and all that. There's nothing really special that I've used. Definitely really happy with uh, the results today, guys. It's just absolutely blowing my mind. But that is all I have time for. As you can see, we are running out of daylight pretty quickly. These winter days absolutely suck. If you guys do want to support the channel, you can get a sticker on our website. You can also get a t-shirt as well. We do have these in stock now on the website. So if you do want one, link is in the description. As always, I appreciate you guys sticking around and watching. Drop a comment on what you think about the Triton. I do read every single comment. I appreciate all you guys supporting this sort of stuff and allowing me to do it it's absolutely great so from me and diesel here we say goodbye we're going inside to get some dinner so i will catch you guys on the next episode bye